All right, good morning. Here we are with the 2022 BMW X5 here. I'm gonna take you around the outside, give you a full view, then we'll go on the inside, check out the interior, some of the features. <laughs> Just a la little laughter for the video. All right, here we are on the inside. Like I said, we have that ivory white interior your power window settings, memory settings there. You do have your 14 way seats. So also these seats are the upgraded leather seats as well. Let's give you a full view here. I'm gonna take you through the car before I go through some of the features and then I'll get into the features. Full front view. Nice, big, full sunroof there. Take it to the back here, show you the trunk. Do have to kick the open here. Right on up. Those seats do let down if you did the extra space. And so they're also. Okay, let's go over some of the features. So we are gonna start right in front of us. This car is equipped with the heads up display. Um, this is my absolute favorite feature of this car. Now that I have it, I cannot do without it. I'm um, gonna see important things like the speed limit, your current speed. Um, you'll be able to navigate your music there if you needed to. Um, if you had directions, directions were so there. Uh, BMW was really making an effort to incorporate technology that allows you to operate it while keeping your eyes on the road. Um, so that's one of my favorite features, and it does have that. You do have the fully digital odometer here, our live cockpit pro. Um, so you have a couple different things that um, this will show you. You see your speed limit there. You also have a running live map here. Um, so if you did have directions going, not only would you see it here in the heads up display, but it will also display it here with your turns. It will highlight it white, you know, the route that you would need to take. Um, here you can see your mileage and this one is a little, um, you can customize this one. Here you can see your horsepower and torque. Um, you can see your, your, uh, your media information. Show you the steering wheel here. All right, so I'll go to some of the safety features this car has. So you do have your forward collision mitigation. Um, if car slams in front of brakes and you, you don't react quick enough, this car will stop itself. It also has a leg detection uh, system. Um, pedestrians, dog, deer, anything that can run out in front of this car, that system will help, help detect and stop if need be. Um, lane departure warning, if you cross that yellow white line, this car is gonna vibrate. If you have the steering intervention activated and it actually pulls you back into the lane, um, and then you have the active blind spot. If someone's in your blind spot, you receive a notification right there, letting you know it's not a good time to get over. Um, so let's go down here. Let's go first. You do have your backup camera. And so this one does have the 360 parking view. Now what's really cool about having this feature is it allows this car to, car to automatically park itself. So this car does back in, it does parallel park itself. Um, also you can see there, it shows you once I put it in park, I, um, it'll show you how much room you have um, on each side if you were to fully extend your doors, which is just really, really cool. Um, so I'll take you here. So you do have your different uh, driving modes, which is pretty standard on most cars these days. Um, you have sport, comfort, um, and economy mode. But what's really cool about this car is you have an adaptive mode, um, which kind of takes all three and incorporates them. And the car kind of adjusts on itself based on driving conditions and uh, as it learns you and kind of, you know, you know, your habits. So that's a that's a really really cool feature you do have the ambient lighting that goes all the way through here um you can't see it because it's daytime but i'll take you here and show you some of the colors that are available 
All right, so we have bronze, orange, white, blue, green, purple. Um, just really cool. I love that feature as well when I'm just riding by myself to kind of set the mood at night. It's really fun when you're listening to music. Um, again, you do have your heated seats here. Now, one of the cool features that I do want to show you with this navigation. Um, so, being, like I said, BMW's trying to incorporate technology where you don't have to um, kind of take your eyes off the wheel. Car does everything for you. So, let me show you a couple things here. Find me something to eat. I found several restaurants. All right, let's pick one. Let's just pick one. Bone fish. Please so, proceed to the highlighted route. As I show you, you'll see your the navigation there. Um, I don't know if you can see here, but you'll also see it right there in your windshield, which is really, really cool. Show you another thing that this car can do as far as talking to it. Hey BMW, I am cold. I'm raising the temperature and activating the seat heating. It will be more comfortable shortly. All right, show you another thing that this car can do. Hey BMW, roll down the driver's side window. I will open the driver's window. Very, 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 very cool. All right, so we're gonna let that back up. All right, so the last feature here that I like to show, and I'll be honest, when I first um, when I first started working here and, and I first started using, I first saw the feature, I thought it would be completely useless. Uh, but in January, I purchased my first BMW, and what I can tell you is. It is absolutely the best, one of the best features um, now that I actually have the car and can understand why it is important. So um, with me, I kind of lean my seat back just a little bit. So it's, it's a task to kind of constantly reach up and lean up to do this. And my arm normally sits here anyways. So it's just very easy for me to move my hand and it controls so let's mute it, unmute it. We can change the station. We can go back there. So it's just a very cool feature. Um, like I said, when I first saw it, I thought I would never use it. It's become one of the features that I use all the time just because it's so convenient. You don't have to take your eyes off the road to find that little button. You just kind of move your hand and the car picks it up. Um, so those are all of the features. Let me know what you think. Um, if you do need any pictures of anything else or anything specific, then please let me know. I also attach my business card right at the end of this uh, of this video.